Come on. Come on. Come I'm on, Gloss. Damn it! Ugh. I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna... Huh? What the... How are you doing that? Uh, what? Stop looking at me. No, stop! I'm gonna choke you! Die! Die! <coughs> Die! Yes. There. She's dead. I finished my mission. And oh, shit. Uh, damn. Uh, I was trying to get Silent Assassin rating it. Uh, the body's been found. That's not good. Um, Alright, Nick Meister, act natural. Just go get your suitcase and, uh... Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, give me that. Die. 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 Oh. Damn, is there a way to point this at myself? Oh, I fucked up. Oh, oh shit. Um. Oh, uh oh. Uh, oh man. No bullets. This isn't good. Oh no, man. I'm dead. Again. Sorry, 47. I failed you. I didn't just fail you, I failed everyone. I failed everyone at something awful. Everyone on the internet. They're all expecting me to get Silent Assassin, but instead I failed. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. <laughs> this stage is easy to fuck up. It's hard to get Silent Assassin. I know I normally post a one long video of me doing it flawlessly, but... I figured it'd probably be more entertaining if I showed you guys my fuck ups as they came along. So let's let's get started. Let's skip these cutscenes. Now we've already heard that conversation, so instead of listening in, let's creep out some some of the patrons of this fine establishment. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Oh, he's freaked out. Good. How about this guy? Hey man, I'm behind you. Woo! I'm behind you. What are you doing, snake? <laughs> you creep. <laughs> they didn't like that at all, did they? Oh, don't point your finger at me. Oh, there he goes. Uh oh, um, yep, yeah, I wasn't doing nothing. Huh. So anyway, I think uh, I'm in this part of the level, just following the delivery guys, they like to call them. It's my least favorite part because. You're forced to wait. And isn't that the isn't that the story with Hey, uh you having a good time, buddy? Huh? You having a good time, friend? Okay, there he goes. Like I was saying, it's kinda of the same story with a lot of stealth games. There's there's a waiting element to the game and it's not really much you can do about it unless uh and there's our target. But we'll be dealing with her a little more subtly, hopefully. And I'd like to mention that these NPCs here, all these guys walking in the street, aren't full-fledged NPCs. They're, uh, I don't think they can count as witnesses, first of all. And, uh, they won't pick up weapons or alert the authorities if you do something. So, there's that. So you don't really have to worry as much about them being a problem, and this asshole decided to pick the very worst spot for him to stop, and I'm going to explain why, but first let me tranquilize this guy, or sedate him, so to speak. First of all, as soon as he gets to this corner here, he will turn around, which means that you need to run up and stab him right away, otherwise he'll do that thing where he turns around and looks at you continually. Second, you must immediately drag him over the dumpster here, because if you don't do that immediately, um, a police officer making his rounds will come down this alley and see you and ruin everything. So, yeah, very worst spot. Okay, no one saw us. That's great. 
So, uh, let's pick up that suitcase. Diamonds. And let's get started. So, we already know where the base is, where our first target is, so let's head over there. Now, uh, I think I already mentioned this, but... Uh, this area is the hardest area of the game when you're trying to get Silent Not Assassin. Way, you know? There's so many little things you can do to ruin everything. Alright, now first of all, we don't want to run down this balcony here, otherwise this guy will freak out and shoot us. So let's walk slowly. Let's head in here. And we gotta lull them into a false sense of security, so I'm gonna take this suitcase and place it on the table, nice and easy. And, uh, what the fuck? That guy just aggroed on me. He just... Give me that shit. Fuck you. Oh. Jesus, I'm dead. Again. What happened? Why did that guy... Why did that guy, uh, start shooting me? I did absolutely nothing wrong. No one saw me doing anything I wasn't supposed to be doing. You know, I didn't walk behind the table, which can sometimes make people aggro on you. I didn't do any of those things, so why did he shoot me? I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I, I told you guys I'd show you my fuck-ups. Well, I'm showing them to you. So, take two. I'll skip all the long, boring bullshit. And let's, uh... Uh -huh, this way, right. Partner. Let's head back up again. Try our luck again. I don't know. Maybe maybe you're just having a bad day or something. You know, maybe, uh... I don't know. I, I don't understand this game sometimes. I really don't. There's our target. Still wearing his snazzy red shades. And... You're not gonna shoot me? Okay, great. I really appreciate it. Is that okay with you? You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Huh? Taking care of that. What are you waiting for? Ah, he's Get so up. rude. You know, so rude. But he won't make you leave, and staying in the room won't make him aggro on you, which is good for us because that would make things a lot trickier. So he's not really in an ideal position, is he? I mean, he's all the way over there. We got to get him to that bin on the other side of the room. And I'm afraid that we'll be caught if I try to kill him now. So I'm going to wait for the bodyguard upstairs to come into the room again and then leave again. Let's see if he's making any progress. Um, excuse me, could you please make your psych a little bit faster? Thank you. Okay, good. And good, so as soon as this guy turns his back and steps out into the balcony again, we're gonna kill, uh, whoever this guy is. I can never remember his name. Alright, and we're gonna choke him with a wire, because I want him to be in pain when he dies. The poison, I imagine, is pretty much painless, so let's drag him over here. And, uh, I don't know, these things... They look like freezers. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just trash bins, but they kind of make me think of a freezer. Kind of reminds me of a freezer uh, I used to use when I worked at the... Let's get this case here and... Oh, shit. He saw me picking up the case, and... You know what? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ugh. Take your shitty gun. Oh, and a cop, too. You know, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And, yeah. Let's try that again. Let's get the walkie-talkie. And this time, he won't see us, so... We can't just walk out with a suitcase, otherwise he'll aggro on us, so we gotta throw it out here. And, man, that was a shitty throw. Let's... Let's get out there fast and hope that the bodyguard outside doesn't see the case and try to pick it up. Because if he picks it up, there's no way we can get it back without using violence. And that would ruin our silent assassin run. So, now I'm going to... Okay, there's uh, the ladybird and there's our sniper. So, 
before I take care of the sniper, because we have plenty of time, uh, I'm gonna walk up here and plant the bomb what do you got under those feathers? that's gonna drop that piano on our lady friend there. You know, there is a way to glitch across that uh, ledge so that 47 just runs across normally instead of shimmying, but I can never figure out how to do it consistently. Um, it's kind of tricky. Either you fall off or he just goes into this shimmying position. So, now if anyone has any advice on how to do that, I'd be interested to hear it. And I don't know if I could do that uh, in that costume. So we took some damage, but if we do things right, we won't be getting to, into any combat, so having low health really isn't a big deal. So, running back here, running, and we're gonna go into the oyster, blues oyster house, whatever it's called. Sorry, partner. No costume, no injury, Really? It says no costume injury. party, jack off. What does it look like I'm wearing? Oh, whatever. Okay, so we're not gonna bother taking any of these outfits because once we get into the restaurants, people don't care what you're wearing. The only person who really cares is the guard outside. So we're gonna head in here and you know, um, I'm getting kind of tired of wearing this bird outfit, as hilarious as it is, so they're gonna take his clothes. I don't think he'll mind. I'm gonna give him a rest. And, yes, Chef 47. That's quite a hat. I'm gonna stick him in here. And really, what else could this be but a freezer or a refrigerator? That's what, really what it looks like, yeah. Okay, and let's flip off this light because there are two lovebirds up the stairs that, you know, if you turn off those lights, they leave faster, and honestly, that's good enough for me. So, I'm gonna wait for these. Yeah, oh, you're shrugging. Gee, I thought there was only one chef in this place. I guess I was wrong. Dumbass. So, anyway, we don't want to pick the lock in front of them because then they'll run to the police. And let's run in this corner here. Okay, there he is, uh, staring at a wall, apparently. That's kind of strange. And we don't want this guy to see us coming, because if he shoots his gun, that'll ruin our silent assassin run. You know, a police officer... Huh, <laughs> nice. The quick kill. Oh, man, he was still talking after he was dead. That was kind of creepy. So let's rush over to our piano dropping site behind the music alley. And, oh, she's right there. Gotta hurry. You know, what I really should have done is I should have paid for uh, the enhanced detonator. The detonator with longer range, but I forgot. And yes, we got her. Nice. We managed to do it. I'm really proud of myself. Yes, sirree. Polly's gonna want more than a cracker what? when she gets back to the what? nest. Oh, really? Come on. She's still alive. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I'm pissed. Hello, 47. I'm the American pissed. Secretary of the Interior is being targeted I'm for pissed. assassination. I mean, I could wait, but... Waiting's so boring, you know. It, oh man, and she's just walking through a solid. Oh, and they found the body too. How is that? I kill him silently, so why would police be up there? That doesn't make any sense. And yeah, okay. Um. Uh huh. You know what? Screw you, lady. Get knocked out. I'm pissed. Okay. Alright, so... I started again off camera, and I waited for her to go all the way around again, just for you guys. And that was five minutes of my life I just can't get back. I guess a bird in the five minutes of listening to her annoying comments and 
waiting for her to walk back under that uh, piano. So that's it, and we're done. All right. Basically, my method for Silent Assassin is what you've seen, ex you know, minus the fuck ups, of course. Um, you can definitely get it a little bit faster if you get the enhanced detonator which I neglected to buy before I started the stage. I'm not sure. Does an enhanced detonator count as standard equipment? I wonder. Well, there we are again. As you can see, there's a lot of zeros. You know, two kills and one accident. Silent Assassin. Now, it took up almost 15 minutes. Normally, if I had gotten her the first time she walked under that piano, would have only taken nine, but hey, that's okay, because we got three million dollars. 150 grand for the bonus, even more for the diamonds. And here's the, the newspaper again, same as always. You know, you think that guy would be a little more psyched to win gold at the Olympics, but I guess not. But then again, he was crazy, so hey. And that's the Silent Assassin run. I'm Nick Meister. See you next time.